all the way back to the 1970s when the first bar of chocolate accidentally fell into a jar of peanut butter and formed Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. I've loved when two things that don't seem to go together turn out to be a great fit. And that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. We're putting together the classics in ROM format along with the Xbox One, and there's no jailbreak and no dev mode required. All you need is a USB keyboard for your Xbox One and a USB drive for your ROMs. We're going to mash these two generations together, and it all starts right now. To be able to move your ROMs over to your Xbox One for playing online, you're going to need to have a USB drive that's formatted in either FAT32, XFAT, or NTFS. Also, if your ROMs are zipped up, you're going to need to uncompress them before you copy them over. In this case, I'm using Super Mario Bros. in NES format. Right-click on the ROM or ROMs you want to copy over and copy them. With your USB drive inserted, in this case that drive's name subscribe, click on the USB drive and then paste your ROMs directly to the root of your USB drive. If you have multiple ROMs for multiple systems, you can also organize them into folders on the root of your USB drive to keep things a little tidier. Once you have the ROMs copied over to your USB drive, you're done with your computer for now. You can safely eject the USB drive and power on your Xbox One. With your Xbox One console starting up, go ahead and make sure your USB keyboard is plugged in. It's easiest to just plug it into the back. When your Xbox One comes up to the main menu, plug in your USB drive with the ROMs on it. You can plug it into the front or rear ports. To load the emulators that will play your ROM games, you'll need to use Microsoft Edge. Navigate to Microsoft Edge and launch it with the A button. Hey, wait a second. I know that guy. You should subscribe to his channel while you're here because you're going to get some amazing video game content and join an incredible community of gamers. You belong here with us. Mash that subscribe button while you're here. The emulator we'll be using for this is called Eclipse Emulator and it's located at the website linked in the description below. Use the virtual keyboard to type in the address in the address bar and navigate to it. The Eclipse Emulator comes with built-in support for NES, SNES, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Sega Master System, and Game Gear support, with new systems being added frequently. From the Eclipse website, use the gamepad on the Xbox One to scroll down until you get to Get and select Get with the A button. Okay, don't click on the first Play Online link. Come down to where it says Link Not Working and select that with the A button. From here, you'll get another set of choices. Click on this Play Online that has Mirror next to it. This helps skip over a pop-up ad that's not managed well by Microsoft Edge. When the Eclipse emulator loads on your Xbox One, you'll get a message that this page uses game controls and to press the menu button to go back to browser controls. You need to do that. Press the menu button on your controller. In the pop-up message, use the D-pad to scroll down to use browsing controls and select it with the A button. This will restore your pointer and controls to your browser. See, Eclipse Emulator can't use the Xbox One controller anyway for gameplay, which is why you have a USB keyboard connected. Use the Xbox One controller to navigate down to the bottom left corner for Skip Setup and select it with the A button. You can read through the on-screen information provided, then scroll down to the bottom with the right thumbstick until you get to Agree and Continue in the bottom left corner and select it with the A button. From here, use the right thumbstick to scroll to the bottom till you get to the left corner for Close Setup. Select Close Setup with the A button. You'll be at the main interface for the Eclipse Emulator. There are a couple of key settings worth looking at before you get started. Use the pointer to go up to the gear icon in the top left corner. Then select that with the A button to open up the settings. If you want to make any changes to the layout of the keyboard in terms of button mapping, you can do that right here. Just select Keyboard with the A button and map it the way you want it. It's actually going to save these even when you log out of the website. Pretty cool. By default, the Eclipse Emulator may try to stretch your 4x3 aspect ratio games out to fit the full screen, which you may not like. I'd recommend coming down to Fill Screen, and if you don't want that, move the pointer over to the right and unselect this. Once you have your settings the way you like them, go up to the top left corner and press the A button on the back arrow. It'll save your settings. Alright, time to load up a game. Move the pointer over to the far right corner to the plus button. Select the plus button with the A button on your controller, and then select Upload. This opens the File Explorer on your Xbox One. Use the D-pad on the Xbox One controller to navigate all the way to the left, and then down to the icon that looks like a USB drive. Then select it with the A button. 
and here's the game that we copied over earlier. Just select it with the A button, and the Eclipse emulator will select the proper emulator for the ROM type that you've loaded up. By default for NES, the keyboard uses the spacebar for select, return for start, and D and C is the A and B buttons. And if you want to take your gameplay full screen, press the view button on the Xbox One controller. One note here, I have the audio for the game muted for copyright reasons for YouTube, but it actually sounded like it was pitched up by about one semitone. That's like saying it basically is just pitched a little higher than you would normally expect it to be. But overall, I found this to be a fun way to merge these two eras of gaming together. While you're here, check out this video. It's shown on screen in the desktop browsing experience, and it's linked in the description and pinned comment below. Thanks so much. I always enjoy our time here together on YouTube, and I can't wait to see you there in the next video.